kind of a review swatch video and it's of the YSL Glossy Stains as they're known of. The full name is YSL Rouge... I can't remember. Rouge Volupte Glossy Stains I think they are. Um, I was kind of just going through my makeup collection and I just realised I'd never done a video on these and I thought they were worthy of a little shout out. So I'm going to show you the three colours that I have. I'm wearing one at the moment. I'll go through the shades and things like that. So starting off, these are YSL, they are high end and they are quite pricey. These retail at, I think it's in around 33 euro, depending on where you buy them. I think they're currently 33 euro on Debenhams. Um, they're also on Feel Unique, maybe for a bit cheaper. All in all, I think there's roughly 20 shades. I think YSL came out with a few different collections, so I'm not sure at the moment how many shades there are, but I will link um, any information I can find down below. I'll also be doing a blog post, I'll link that down below for pictures and more information and things, things like that. So basically what they are, they are kind of a hybrid between a lip gloss and a stain which sounds so kind of contradicting because for me personally I associate gloss with moisture and I associate a stain with drying so I was very intrigued to try these. I got my first one probably a few years ago at this stage and I got um, the other two since then. Um, I think they're one of my favourite glossy products. Even though they're they're kind of uh, even though they're kind of marketed as a stain, the gloss to these is beautiful. As you can see, I'm wearing um, one at the moment, as I mentioned. Um, sorry, now it's dark. It's night time, so I'm not sure how way the lighting is. But as you can see, it has major major shine. Um, this was applied probably two hours ago. Um, I've had a coffee since, but it wasn't anything very exciting. Like it wasn't in a rush or. Okay, it makes no sense. I had a coffee, yeah. So, um, okay, I took down some notes because I did want to make sure I got all the information for you. So, coverage-wise, these are really, really opaque. For glasses, these are super, super pigmented. Um, out of all the shades, the shades I have here are kind of more so pink shades. Um, I'd be very interested to try the new shades to see what the payoff is for them. But the ones I've tried are very, very opaque and thick. Um, they apply very evenly. They don't seem to settle into the fine lines or settle into into the lips. They're not splotchy, they're really really smooth when you apply them, they're super super smooth. They apply really really lightly and it's almost, as you apply it's very light but as it sets it kind of gets a bit thicker and it's not a sticky thick, it's definitely not sticky, it has more of a gel consistency, it's very very unique in that I've never tried any other product that feels like this, it's super smooth and super gel like, I definitely would describe it as being like a gel kind of formula. Um, wear wise I would say the glassiness will stay for maybe two to three hours, which is very good for a gloss, really, maybe four hours. Um, and then once the gloss does fade away, you are left with a stain and you can definitely see the stain in the lips. I haven't done a time test on this, but if I do, I'll insert, um, probably in the blog post, I'll insert pictures of before and after. So the glassiness will stay for maybe three to four hours and after that you're left with a stain of the colour. When the glass leaves, your lips can be left feeling a little bit dry maybe, but nothing major, nothing very uncomfortable, but you do notice that the smooth gel-like um, feeling has gone. Um, hydrating wise, yeah, when the glass is glossy, for the first couple of hours it is quite hydrating, but once it leaves you kind of notice it, but it's not too tight feeling. Um, what else? Okay, the smell of it, I'm not majorly gone in the smell. It has this kind of, it's like, um, it's almost like kind of a, a sweet grape kind of scent. Um, grapes like don't have a majorly nice smell. It's not fruity, but it's kind of has this. It's kind of like a sweet grape scent. It's okay. It's not hugely exciting. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, the applicator. So anyway, the packaging. I may as well show you the packaging. I'll actually come up a bit closer to show you the packaging. Okay, so here is the packaging and as you can see, I think this is absolutely beautiful packaging. You would expect this from YSL. It's really sturdy. You can see the colour through the front. It has the YSL logo. Um, yeah, that's that. It has the shade then at the bottom. Then the applicator itself is a doe foot applicator, but as you can see it has a slant to it. And they have described that on the website for a reason. It's really, really precise. Um, it has a kind of, I'm not sure if, yeah, you can kind of tell there, it has, it's slightly tapered, so you can get actually really, really precise as you're applying it. Um, so I really, really like the applicator, and it's actually quite short as well, so you have more control and precision when for applying. Okay, so I'll quickly go through the shades that I have. Um, on my lips is number 17. This is one of the really popular ones when it came out, because it's kind of a wearable pink colour. Um, I might as well zoom in. Again, I'm not, I'm not sure about the um, lighting at the moment. 
Okay, there you can see it's kind of a mix. It's like a purple toned pink or a blue toned pink. It's a really, really pretty color. And I actually have blue eyes, but anytime I wear this, it makes my eyes look super green, I think. So this is number 17. Um, I'll show you the application of the next two. I'll give this a quick swatch as well. Okay, so swatch wise, I'll just do them quickly on my hand. As you can see, it's really, really smooth. It doesn't look hugely pigmented on the hand, although it does actually. You can see the shine there straight, straight away. And it's like I said, it's kind of a purple toned pink. And, ooh, stick it to my, my hair, stick it to the lip gloss. Um, so there it is on the lips. Okay, so I just took off that colour and I'm going to show you the next one. The next shade I'm going to show you is number 26, and this is more of a deep purple colour. It's definitely more in the berry family, so I'll give you a quick swatch of that now. Okay, so there you go is the shade number 26, and you can definitely see this is much more of a deep purple colour. Um, it's almost verging on mauve plummy, and I absolutely love these kind of shades, so I'll quickly show that on my lips now. Okay, so I might as well apply this one on camera for you so you can see what it's like to apply. Um, I won't be able to talk, so I'll just mute myself. <laughs> okay, so that is... Mm -mm -mm -mm. That is one shade, and as you can see, or one coat, and as you can see, that for one coat is super, super pigmented. Um, for one coat, it doesn't necessarily give you the glossy effect straight away, so depending on what you want, you can apply as many coats as you want. The first coat kind of gives it just more of the stain, more of the colour. Applying a second coat makes it a bit thicker and you definitely get the glossy effect, and if you do want to apply a third one, it goes super, super wet looking, glossy, glossy finish. So here is the first one. I like to leave it set for a few minutes before I apply the second coat. Okay, so I'll go ahead now and apply a second coat. And so there you can see the colour is even built up even, even more. I really, really love this shade. Again, it's kind of great for those winter autumn kind of months, but to be honest, these are kind of my favourite shades to wear. So that is the number 26. Okay, and last but not least is number 25. Actually, I've just noticed as I'm taking off um, each layer, my lips are stained straight away, so it's actually kind of hard to do this three in a row, but I've just applied a bit of foundation over, but you can kind of see that my lips are stained. Um, so last but not least is number 25. This is more of a pink shade. It's more of a berry, not berry, it's more of a rosy pink shade, so I'll swatch that and apply it now. Okay, so this is shade 25, gone onto my knuckles very awkwardly, and this is definitely more of a red or pink kind of shade. It's more of a rosy, raspberry pink kind of shade. And again, I'll just quickly apply that. Ooh, that's super close. <laughs> okay, so that is one coat of number 25. And as you can see, again, this one is also super, super pigmented. Definitely more in the raspberry pink kind of family. So I'm gonna apply a second coat now. And there is the second coat. I'm way too zoomed in, this is very, very scary. So there we go, that is shade 20, ooh, gone very dark, sorry. One second, I'll my, leave my camera adjust. Okay, so that is a quick mini review and swatches of three of the colors that I own. Again, I'll leave the blog post down below so you can have the information, the pricing, the shades, etc. Um, so do let me know what you think. I know these are um, pricey, not everyone who follows my channel will be able to afford these, but for those of you who do want to treat yourself to something kind of luxurious and high-end, I do really, really love these YSL glossy stains, as they're known as. As I said, all information below. Um, let me know what your favourite colour on me is, because I'm always curious to know what other people think of their colours. And if you have any recommendations for more colours, let me know, because I am um, thinking of this is a cheeky purchase, because I think they are on offer and feel unique at the moment. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Any questions, leave them below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!